apologetics means to give the reason. Apologetics is going to help you to do the following. Firstly, to know the truth. So apologetics actually gives you the confidence that what we believe is actually true. Secondly, apologetics is going to help you to develop discernment. Discernment means the the ability to determine what's right and what's wrong. Or I love what Spurgeon said, discernment is actually the ability to determine what's right from what's nearly right. And the third thing it's going to do is it's going to give you some wisdom to be able to share it appropriately, to be able to share the truth appropriately. So that, that's the journey we're going to be on. You, you want to come on the journey with me? All right. So apologetics deals with objections that are intellectual, social, emotional objections to Christianity, the claims of Christianity. So whenever someone says, oh, I can't believe there's, there's this God of the Bible because there's, there's evil and suffering in the world and how could a good or powerful God allow that? Oftentimes what's behind that, it sounds like an intellectual objection. But I've discovered over the years, this is more often than not an emotional objection. And it's an emotional objection because someone close to that person has just gone through an agonising death. And that is emotionally very, very difficult to respond to. So here, you're going to hear me say this. There are some questions that people ask and they don't need an intellectual answer. They need a hug. So when we as Christians don't listen well, we can confuse what we're about. So let's, let's unpack this verse. And this is our key verse. But in your heart. Honour Christ the Lord as holy. What is holy? Holy is uniquely beautiful. That's what that word holy means. When we we sang it this morning, Jesus is holy, God is holy. We're saying he is beautiful. When I say beautiful, I don't just mean, oh, that's, that's beautiful. I mean, take your breath away, beautiful. I mean, like, I've never seen anything more beautiful, beautiful. That kind of beautiful. So when you say holy, that's what we're saying. He's so uniquely pure and magnificent and beautiful. And so we start with something settling in our hearts. But in your hearts, honour Christ the Lord as holy. Always, here it is, always being prepared to make a defence to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with, what are those two words? First word, gentleness and respect do it with gentleness and respect so this is what apologetics is about it's not this bombastic i'm right you're wrong i'm clever you're an idiot let me prove to you how that i know more than you that's not what apologetics is about at all we hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like if you'd like to see more hit the subscribe button For more information about our church, head over to lagana.org.